Right, you know what we're doing? This is a fly on the wall documentary on single parenting. So uh, just go about your normal daily business and ignore us completely. All okay? right, I like documentary like. That's right. Mate. Right, got me the eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you okay there? I'm waiting for you to say go. No, don't do that. <laughs> just, just ignore us completely. Go about your normal daily business. All right, I documentary like. Yeah, this is a documentary. Right, I like those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you silly bloody girl. <laughs> Which is understandable, considering your mother's left and you're feeling vulnerable. <laughs> you see, that's what happens, you see, when the female influence deteriorates. Can I just hold you there? Um, <laughs> um, if we weren't here, what do you think you'd do in this situation? I'd probably shout at her. Right, well, do you want to just do that then? All oh, right, aye. You've spilled the milk, you silly girl! Which is understandable, considering your mother's left and you're feeling vulnerable! That's what happens when the... Can you act naturally? All oh, right, aye. My daughter's just spilled some milk and I'm not happy. Not to the camera. Right. <laughs> oh, you, you've been naughty, so get to your room. Okay. No, love, when I said that, I want you to go, no way, you old bugger. It's your fault me mum left. <laughs> you were sleeping with me auntie. Stop! <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. I could pretend I've just found out my six-year-old daughter's getting married. Let's go again. <laughs> Stand clear. The vehicle is reversing. Stand clear. The vehicle is reversing. Stand clear. You can't wear that jumper with that skirt. <laughs> Last orders! <laughs> Hi. Hello. Could you sign it to Lee? Yeah, sure thing. I'm a really big fan. Thank you. In fact, maybe you could put that to Lee, one of my biggest fans. Yeah, no problem. Sorry, could you put love from, not just from? Uh, yeah, sure. In fact, lots of love from. Lots of love. Yeah, from. lots and lots and lots of love. Okay. And kisses. Okay. Right. I really fancy you. <laughs> Thanks. No, I mean, could you write that? I really fancy you. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Come that on, that's... please, just write it. Okay. No, not there. After the one of the biggest fans bit. In fact, change that to the biggest fan. No, I'm glad someone so good looking is my biggest fan. Look. Please, I... just go on. All right. To Lee, I'm glad someone so good looking is my biggest fan. I really, really fancy you. <laughs> lots of love and kisses. Catherine Zeta Jones. And that was easy. Just write it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tim, what have you done? I broke both my legs. How did you do that? I tried to hang myself with a clip on tie. <laughs> what in? Get in the bus. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Number 26. Yep. Going far. Is it a town? Oh, right, that's nice, yeah. You know on an aeroplane there's something called the Mile High Club? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I have told you. This is different. I don't know anymore. You must know. Please, no more questions. Can't you let me go? Just one more dress. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, can you come back tomorrow? I'll have the rent money then. Yes, yeah, sure. I wasn't actually calling about the money. No? No, I was just checking to see everything was all right. Yeah, everything's fine. Can I come in for a quick chat? Uh, it's a bit of a mess, actually. I was going to clean up today. You're sure everything's all right? Yeah, honestly, everything's fine. OK, then I'll call back tomorrow. OK, cool. <laughs> As you can see, this is a more traditional bikini, the classic 50s style, making a big comeback now all over the world. Number seven is the ripple bikini, so called because of the rippled seam that runs along the straps. It's functional, but it's also very attractive. I don't know how that got in there. <laughs> okay, back to work. It's a nice bike. Are you supposed to have two people on those? 
I'm waiting for a friend. I like yellow. Good colour. Look, you're not on an aeroplane. No chance. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, you tell me what it is. Um... Is it an engine? <laughs> well, of course it's an engine. What's wrong with it? Oh, okay. Um... Well... It's quite dirty, isn't it? There's lots of, lots of grease and stuff on it. Well, as an engine, it's supposed to get dirty. I want you to make it go. Oh, okay. Come on, then. What's this? What's this? <laughs> Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. It's a car, not a donkey. I'm sorry, I used to be a vet. Well, you're not now, are you? You're a mechanic, and this is a car, a highly technical piece of machinery with thousands of moving parts, a classic of engineering. Do you understand that? Yes, of course. Today we're going to do some trust exercises. And you can't do anything in life unless you trust the people around you, least of all a stage play. Right, so Simon, can you come and stand facing the wall, please? And everyone else just gather round behind him with your arms outstretched. OK, lovely. Now, Simon, if you just close your eyes and on the count of three, gently fall backwards. One, two, it's the greatest lesson you'll ever learn. Never trust anyone. They lie to you and let you down. And then leave you for another woman. Hello. Hello, Mr. Vine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from the Environmental Health Department. We've been getting complaints that your fridge is making a lot of noise. My fridge? Hmm. Apparently it's unbearable for your neighbours and they've demanded we pay you a visit. My fridge doesn't make any noise. <laughs> Not what we've been told. It's completely silent. I mean, it makes a very low hum, but I think that's normal for most fridges. I'm going to have to take some readings. Sure, come in. I can't understand it. I've, uh, I've had it for about six years. Never had a problem with it. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Be my guest. I got it off my brother-in-law. Ah! It's very reliable. <laughs> I like the colour. It's never needed repairing. Ah! It's always at the right ah! temperature. Ah! So, I can't see what the problem is. How'd you get on today? Yeah, all right. 30 quid today. I was only busking for half an hour. <laughs> hour. It's absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what, you should try it sometime. It'd be... It's working. It's absolutely great. The girlfriend doesn't... <laughs> ...like it, because she says it's not a proper job, but I just think, what... <laughs> well, if you're not enjoying yourself, what, you know, what can you do in life? It... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Pounds, please. I've <laughs> got four pounds. That's okay, you'll pay me next week. You know no what? chance. <laughs> do you do pork scratchings? Yes, we do. He's got an itch behind his ear. <laughs> right, poster campaign. As I've said before, we want provocative, we want contentious. Reverend, what have you got for us? Well, I thought long and hard about what you said, and I came up with this. <laughs> Heavens above, are you listening? Yes, good, but uh, I wonder, can we uh, push it a little further? Of course we can. What in God's name are you doing? <laughs> yes, good, I like it, but I still wonder, can't we nudge it that little bit further? I think so. 